good morning, good morning, and welcome to, ooh, I lied, run it back. <laughs> good afternoon, <laughs> and welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday, it's one-ish, and um, I didn't go to sleep till like three or four this morning, so I'm getting a later start, but since I was getting work done, I'm not upset with it. I need to give me something to eat. Brittany and I are going to paint today and um, I need a canvas and I need ways to get the canvas. But I am about to have me some more of them collard greens that I made last week. No, really last week. I mean, last week's vlog. It was really two days ago. <laughs> Just so y'all know, we ain't going out bad this weather, y'all. Ooh, we. Yeah. While those greens, my collard greens, don't taste like my nana's or my aunt's, they aren't bad. They aren't bad. And then, you know, once the seasonings and stuff really get a chance. Once the seasonings and stuff really get a chance to you know, mingle with each other overnight, then I came back and hit it the next day and I didn't have all the um, spices and stuff in my respiratory system from standing over it and cooking. I was like, ooh, this is kind of good. <laughs> I'm so extra, okay. What if you get a tapestry and put it on one of the walls? I mean, it won't be big enough to cover the long wall, of course, but it can be big enough to be like against the wall um, where the door is open against. This one? Mm-hmm. Or the one behind your bed, one of those walls. Take away the big shirts, the tattoos, the sweatpants, and bang. Okay, I don't wear no makeup, no purse in my hand. My resting bitch face is mistaken for the mean girl. But what if I told you there's nothing I want more in this? So far, I ain't even mad at you. I ain't even mad. Did you see them? Lana. Mama feline out there sucking her babies. And she hissed at me when I um looked at her and tried to show you the camera. But she hissed at you? Yeah, she hissed at me. Like I seen it and heard it. I was like, okay. Girl, you got that. But um I'ma bring them some food when I can. She won't be hissing no more. What do you mean they wipe? What are you talking about? I don't wipe when I pee. Oh, God. 
It looks grand. This was fun. And next time I'll bring plates. <laughs> Good morning. That's a whole lie. I gotta stop doing that. It's very much evening. It's 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday. Um, let's see, what did I do? Yesterday after we painted, I came home and I ate and I went to sleep. So, yeah, and then today it's been raining all day and like that good rain, that is storming rain, that's when I get my best sleep and I have, okay? I feel like I've had at least three sleep sessions. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go get some food. But um, yeah, I definitely wanted to check in because I was supposed to check in yesterday when I got home, but I didn't. So, yeah. But, um, it's crazy. I really gotta get up tomorrow. Really gotta <laughs> do stuff tomorrow. I got a full day of sleep. Excuse me. But, tomorrow morning, um, I'm gonna do Giselle's nails, and then what else is? Oh, we're gonna go to Wild and Out. That should be fun, right? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Not too much change made. I don't know if I mentioned like updating my intro video, but I want to do it. And I need to do it. So. Come on, Ebs. Let's see what we're talking about. Excuse me. But. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a chill situation thus far. So I'll just catch y'all at another time. Alright, y'all. So today is Wednesday. And it's about... 1 p.m. We're on our way to the Wild and Out showing. Woo -woo. Um, I'm excited for it. I think it'll be cool. I just got done with Giselle's nails. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're on the way. We're gonna meet up with Brittany there. It's gonna be cool. But um, yeah, the roads are packed. We got a nice little drizzle going on. I need to eat. That's priority. I really need to eat. So, if I see something on the way, I'm stopping. But also, I don't want anything fried. Who cares? Just know we're on the way to Wallin' Out and yeah. <laughs> Drive in a little while. Where are you going? 
tell me. And I'm not letting you bob and weave, so. And you've been known you had to get over. Why all of a sudden put the signal on it? People are just comical. Anyways, um, yesterday we did wildin' out and um, it was fun, it was a nice experience. I couldn't, we couldn't even have our phones, so I definitely left my camera in the car. Um, we took a COVID test before we went on the showing. And I put quotation marks because that was the least invasive COVID test I have ever had. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> we went to the showing. Um, people who had their booster were allowed to take off their mask and stuff while inside. But everyone else had to keep it on. Um, I'm very glad that I ate before I went there. Uh, <laughs> That's wild, like, wow. <laughs> I'm really glad I ate before I went there because it was, it was you on your own, like, from the time we pulled up. And I'm not, honestly, like, all was as expected for me, but like, you know, or at least the audience, I don't, I can't speak for other shows, but the audience for Wildin' Out required a lot of energy. Like they wanted wildin', wildin', wildin'. They want you to get hyped and stuff. And like, it's lit, but bro, it's been like two and a half hours since I had some water. You feel me? And then, um, I don't know if it was like everyone who came through the bus <laughs> at the stand or what, but I'm, I'm just really glad I ate. I didn't know I'd have to be standing the whole time. I didn't know I wouldn't have any water the whole time. I didn't know there wouldn't be any food. So I'm glad I prepared myself for that. The most exciting part for me, honestly, was I got to see Emmanuel Hudson and Jess Hilarious. Like, I was like, oh, no, hey! And it was so cool seeing um, Jess in person, because it's like, you look exactly like you look on IG and on the social, but like, I just, I'm glad I get to see you in person. So like, you're, <laughs> it, and it sucks to hear this as a person, but like your humanity is just a lot more obvious to me. I don't know, but I was just excited to see her. And then afterwards, um, I went and I got me a breakfast from one of the most controversial freaking I won't even say habits but me and my family we love some old what do you call it cracker barrel we love the freaking pancake meals and stuff like that but controversial because they're um theme and or context whatever you want to call it but <laughs> I had me a blueberry pancake meal and it was so great and then I came back to the house um, my room is atrocious from the different outfit choices that I went through to decide what to wear to Wallin' Out and then like I also kind of tore up a clean clothes basket looking for clothes so it's even messier <laughs> than it was supposed to be but I decided today that I'm going to um uh, man did I jinx myself? Anyways, um, what was I at? What was I saying? Oh, today I decided that I'm going to retwist my hair and do my nails. Since it's, it's probably gonna be at least like, it's gonna be a little over a month or so before I can do what I wanna do. So I may as well do the other things I want to do. I stopped my nails for one reason only, and I can't do that right now. So, let's ramp it back up. Oh, what I was saying is that we're on the way to go get the rental. Not to get the rental, but to make sure things are in line with the rental. And then after that, we're gonna head to the car shop to drop off the car. Okay, okay. Peace of mind. 
All right. All circuits are currently busy. Please continue to hold while we try to ring the branch again. So... Your call cannot be transferred. Please try again later. Thank you. I know they didn't just hang up. So, State Farm gave me the address to an enterprise that set it up but isn't actually going to be giving me the car so i drove over to an enterprise that can't help me anyways and now i'm really not going to have enough time to freaking make sure that they have my stuff like i'm angry <laughs> i'm angry because the way that i just waited on that phone for them to hang up i'm almost positive that they're not going to have my car I'm almost positive they're not going to have my rental. And I'm calling you back because I did not say, I did not say you can hang up this phone. Our local office, press 4. If you are in need of roadside assistance, press All circuits are currently busy. Please continue to hold while we try to ring the branch again. At Enterprise, we know that clean means transaction to protect the safety of you and our employees. This is when I get dangerous on the road. When I'm angry, I start driving. Not recklessly, but very much get out my way. Very much. All right, Enterprise. Oh, like, I'm so pissed that the shadow on my face is making me mad. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I called the Enterprise again, twice, all right? Both times, they had me waiting and hung up on itself saying call cannot be transferred. So let me get, let me get product. I swear for God, all hell will be raised. Let me get a trashy rental and see what I do. Um, I'm here. I'm a few minutes early. Hopefully, hopefully this rental just doesn't aggravate me. Like I'm knowing, I'm knowing that this rental is gonna aggravate me. I called twice and both times. Y'all hang up? Okay. Well, anyway, caliber collision. This looks a lot nicer than the first place. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you, um, Enterprise was exactly what I expected it to be, which was a freaking mess, okay? An absolute mess. So I get there, and you know it's, you know it's wrong when you got elderly folks plural not together but separately complaining about y'all okay i walk in and they talking about how this you know how you do the whole i'm having a phone call in the facility that's pissing me off and i'm gonna have everything i'm gonna say everything mad loud so everybody hears everything he's talking about how there's no cars yet they had a reservation i'm over here like oh lord jesus sound like something I do not want to have to deal with and yeah backups are backups holdups are holdups but if you know there are backups and holdups just be honest with the people waiting like I'm really confused so these people are upset okay like going off and I get up to the thing and the dude the dude it like looks at the empty parking lot then looks back at me and says it'll be about 10 minutes 10 minutes like I looked at him to make sure that's what he told me like I just want to make sure that you meant that lie when you said it hold on yeah anyways like I was saying like like I could I could see that he could see that I could tell that he was lying to me and he chose to proceed with the lie so I sat there and I watched Archer I watched a whole a whole show and then like I really don't like well, I feel like it's professional to keep your 
customers in the know when they're waiting. And I think it's professional to acknowledge that your customers have been waiting like 300 times <laughs> longer than they were supposed to. And I mean, that's not an exaggeration. Ew, this ponytail. Anyways, so 40-ish minutes later, a car comes up and um, he brings me out to this car. Now, mind you, I just didn't like his attitude. I didn't like it. Um, and not even saying he had an attitude, it's just like, I didn't like his lack of customer service. Like, he just kept making me mad. He kept making me mad. He went through um, the gas prices and was like, "Do you would you like to prepay and there'll be, it'll, and we'll charge you like gas at this amount or you can do this option, it'll be this amount or you can just fill it back up to what it is when you bring it out. I said, I'm gonna fill it back up to what it is when I bring it in. And he's like, he's like, are you sure gas price is kind of high? This person really finna hurt their own car. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just pull up like I'm going in front of them to see what they do. Oh, they just inching for it. Baby, ain't nobody worried about your BMW. Get your rims clean. Um, anyways. So, yeah. Um, he proceeds to ask me again, like, are you sharing your gas price? I'm, I'm feeling, mind you, the wind's blowing. So, it, like, it's not cold, but I'm not, I'm not warm. The wind's blowing. Two, I've already waited for 40 minutes when you knew it wasn't gonna be 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm answering his questions, okay? I'm gonna fill it up. Um, we have insurance options or protections for the day, starting at $5 a day, then $10 and 15. I will use my own insurance. And then um, at the end, he's like, just give me a moment, cause I need to go get a wipe for something. Da -da -da. I was like, fine. Like, I just went back inside. Like, I'm cold, I'm tired of being cold. If it's up to you, you'll have me standing out here in the wind forever. Like, I'm really sick of all this. I'm sick of it. And the person who I see, who I think is a manager, is just chilling in the office. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Chick-fil-A, when did y'all start taping straws to drinks? I feel like a lot of people wanna piss me off today. That's a great way to do it. Then the car has nowhere for me to put my camera holder. Like, nowhere. I get real tart, like, as a person. And then I need to figure out how my apartment's gonna do the parking thing. Because my decal is on my car. And no, I'm not going back to get it. And no, I'm not parking on the bottom level. All right, so my leasing office while it is open is understaffed, so they only have one person touring residents, so they say, for this entire complex, okay? <laughs> I want to live somewhere where interacting with the leasing office isn't going to piss me off. Like, cause why do y'all only have one person? Huh? Pay better. Be better employers. I Like, I don't know what to say, but I'm fed up. Quite honestly, I'm fed up. And I'm gonna be in the house for the rest of the day. I'm angry. I'm angry and I need to not be angry. <laughs> okay, so I finished up my nails. Hold on. It's Thursday evening. That's crazy, it's Thursday. <laughs> but anyway, so I just finished up my nails. Oh, the battery's dying, that's right. Um, did some kind of basic, some sparkly, some solid. And then I did a little butter. But yeah, um, like I was saying, 
I just did a little butterfly in the middle. I really don't know how much I like it, but I did want nails. They are nails, so I guess, but I'm about to edit because I haven't started any editing for this week. So I'm gonna go and do that. And I'm a little tired and frustrated. Like I didn't get back in the house till what, like 2.30 from being out today. And <laughs> my appointment was at 11.30. And really the first part of it went very smoothly. It was just the car rental took a lot of my time and energy. So I was already kind of drained when I came back um, doing my nails and stuff. So I did want, did I fill it up already? No, I did want to do my hair, but I'm kind of tired after sitting there doing my nails. So, um, I think this is a cup. So, I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing my hair or not today. Excuse me. Ooh. But, if I do, I probably won't show it. Cause um, I recorded me doing my nails. And I'm tired. Not like, it didn't only, it didn't even like take a lot of work. I just recorded myself, but nonetheless. So, to the computer I go to edit and I'm gonna catch y'all when I catch it. This actually feels like, this feels like a shorter week, but I don't wanna jinx anything. One, it's Thursday and two, I haven't looked at what I'm editing yet, so I could be very wrong. <laughs> so, good morning. Today's Friday. Uh, I just finished my hair. I'm Y'all are on an empty box. That's why she's kind of rocking. But I just finished my hair. Oh, I did the two strand thing. And then I did like some semi cute little things up top. And. Yeah, I just been blogging it up, blogging, like watching vlogs, but it's definitely time for me to clean up from the week. I need to clean up. Um, What was I doing? Oh, after I clean, I'm gonna do a haul. So I'm gonna do a grit ready with me for the haul, and then I'm gonna do the haul. And, um, I recorded me doing my nails yesterday, but I don't know if I'm really rocking with it, you know what I'm saying? But also, like, why is this, I'm here, we're here, so why are you still, anyways, I need to clean up, what's new? I showed it on um, last week's vlog. I thought about how I want to rearrange it. It was either last week or earlier this week. 
kind of want to um, rearrange the setup in here. It's a lot more cohesive with the video since the light is coming from this way anyways. And um, yeah, so I don't have to keep switching up when I have to record. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to just go ahead and move the TV to the little office space. There's nothing for it to go on yet, but... I know I want it over there eventually, so like, might as well. But yeah, just just enjoy the show. Um, I may take my time to think of how I'm actually gonna do everything, but it should be fun to watch none the less, okay? <laughs> edges over so I don't want people killing their head on it because like you come over here to chill that's not bad I kind of got a reach to go that far so that's not too too horrible turn it back on, press record, and think things are gonna work. Um, I finished up with the, re, the redecorating, and I think I've come to a little settling spot that I'm cool with. I'll be very cool when I have a laptop and I don't have to continue with this situation, but it felt kinda empty, so I brought my bean bag from the room and that kind of kind of did what I wanted, but now the room's empty. <laughs> and the thing with that is like, I really couldn't even enjoy my chair the way I wanted to in the room, cause it's so compact. Okay, that's not bad. And I brought the little pillow too because I feel like the rose gold accents kind of give it some pillow with the room. But I like I like that it's something different. Anyways, I know I said I was gonna do a get ready with me, but like. Look at outside. And it's not bad, but like, it actually looks gloomy. It looks gloomy and it's only one. Yeah, it's one. If it's one and it looks like this, I'm not super optimistic. Like, because I like using the natural light for hauls. I don't really want it. But yeah, I like... Well, one, let's see how much room I have with it being on this side. Yeah. Not much space at all. Oh, wait. Let's do this. All right, you're on your side. This isn't a bad shot. So, now this is a question. 
How does this work? Yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> I do not know how to set this so it'll work. Cause I don't think it's working. Well, one. Yeah, that's not. Maybe I'll try something with my um, phone. Cause this, Cause this is a lot. <laughs> I don't move my mirror. This is a lot. Faces. Mad cricket. Oh wait. I'm not doing this haul today. I guess I can do it tomorrow. Doing it tomorrow will give me more time to actually have my life together since I decided to do all of this like really last minute. Um Plus it's already one. I wanted to film me getting ready, so I probably wouldn't have been done with that till like, well I'll say it's like 1.30 now. Yeah, it would just take me, not even take me too long, but one like, it's not what I want outside. I still would need to get ready and film it. And I don't want to try on all the clothes that I ordered in that um in that order, like I prefer I prefer to sort through it and like cause that was back when I was still kind of missizing myself. So I'd um I wanna sort through it and like pick certain things to wear or not <laughs> and yeah I just I, I want a lot more control around it than I have plus y'all I'm so serious I don't know how I'm feeling about this like I like it for like that everyday day to day on these the two ponies are a wee bit childish just a tad but um i still don't know how i'm feeling about it for like a haul because i gotta get cute i gotta get a little sexy you know what i'm saying cool so ugh, the rest of my apartment looks a mess not truly um it's just the stuff that i moved before i'm at the couch so i need to find a place for the shelf which honestly can still be back here. So that might be what I do. But Ebony naturally needs to eat. Um, I need <laughs> to go grocery shopping. That's what I need to eat. I don't need to eat nothing else but food that I make. But since that's not happening today, <laughs> I'm gonna get me some Bawar cheese. I am. I am. Okay. Oh. So what I'm thinking, is this the same wood? Ooh, it might be. That's back there. That's back there. This. 
is a pan that has not been in use. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put our tripod up. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and put the tripod up. And yeah, it's looking crazy outside, wow. Um, since I have my rental now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the wagon back in the trunk. Since when I get my truck back, when I get my car back, my trunk should be fully functional. That should be hitting a little harder than usual right now, but what particular way is supposed to line up, but I know like there are some grooves that work some places and don't work other places as far as this tripod goes. I know I kind of just like switch topics. Okay. Hey, look at there. Let me not speak too soon. I gotta slip it. Hey, look at there. Okay. Now, these shoes are a problem. I don't want them. They're not really a problem. They're brand new. I don't want them. And this is the wrong box. That's why I can't sell it on StockX. But it's, I don't know. I have a problem with just giving away. Like, I feel like I need to cop something in return. You feel me? What else did I have over here? Hmm. Well, guess I need a new Fire Stick or Roku TV for this TV. But I want her up. I want you up. Here, let's get it. The other thing about having a TV here, I don't really like that y'all can watch TV and I can't. <laughs> And I know you're the one getting the service, but it's something that just doesn't sit right with me up here. So I need the TV to stay on this wall if it's gonna happen. Let me fix what I just messed up. Okay. Well, this area is nice and clean for me to start tomorrow. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna take this to the car. My mom, and mommy, if you see this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My mom got me a carbon monoxide alarm a really long time ago. Like, at this point, I'd say it was a couple months ago. I'm just not exactly sure how to install it. I mean, I could just read the instructions, but I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. My room is next though. It is not cute. And um, I took the bean bag out, right? Well, the thing is, like I said earlier, I don't really have the space to enjoy it in my room like I want to anyways. But I've always, and I talked with um, Kamari about this. And I mentioned, I mentioned that I talked to my friends about it because we low-key be the same people. And I don't like that we be wanting, and not everything is the same, obviously, but we be wanting like the same interior stuff. Um, it, but all that to say like, she wants a platform bed too. So if at some point you see us both with it, was not a copy situation, we just got the same taste. But, um, I feel like I missed. <laughs> oh, it landed in and popped out. It's, that's an easy little move or whatever. But let's go ahead and make this as easy as possible. 
because I feel like I'm going to go for the deep corner shot more often. So let's go ahead and make that the most available. Anyways, yeah, I've been wanting a platform bed. I actually asked my papa to build one with me when quarantine like really took off. I was like, look, we're in the house anyway. Just tell me, tell me like what we need to get. You got all like the tools and stuff. So really all I need to estimate is the cost for the wood. But he was like, where are we gonna put it? And like at that time I didn't have this apartment and I was like, you're worrying about things too soon. <laughs> we, we can build it, make it so that it can be like detachable and you can reattach the pallets together later. And he was just like, okay, okay. And then we didn't do it. So if you see something shake with a platform bed, just know I'm excited. Y'all, this is really bad. This is really bad. These are dirty, those are clean. Just took the chair from over there. All hideous, atrocious. But yeah, if you catch me with a platform bed sometime soon. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, darn, I did not mean to breathe these in. Um, so, Bawarchi's is closed. They're one of those places that closes <laughs> from like 2.30 to 4.30 and then they open back up. So I suppose I'll be making another trip. You know, um, I prefer just the one, but I actually do want kofta tonight. Like I fix, I fix my palate for it. Like I want it. So um, I just got me a little kid's meal from Chick-fil-A. Um, I get a four piece or a six piece. I don't remember, but little nonetheless, they gave. Oh no, they changed the box for the fries. Gotcha. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a throat. So that Chick Fil A. I want to say I was in line for 15 ish minutes for this kid's meal, and from the taste of the fries. My order has been bagged. It's just been sitting there getting cold. Anyways, that's not this one because I just opened it messing with it. But if you didn't know, you can always exchange your toys for ice cream at Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure it has to be like new, unopened, da 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 da. But yeah, um, I'm gonna edit. Since I haven't, well, let's see. Last night, I edited a wee bit, then I knocked out, went to sleep. <laughs> this morning, I woke up at like 1 a.m. and I was up to like 7 a.m. and I didn't do anything editing wise, which was like, come on, Ebony. So yeah, let me get my life together. Since I since I got my the rest of my life together, let me get my computer life together. And um, I am gonna eat later. Don't know if I'm gonna pull y'all out, but I don't know. I'm feeling I'm feeling like I don't really have stuff to do, and that's not true. But um. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's Saturday. Um, I've come to terms with it myself. The haul will not be done this weekend. And um, it, it, I, I, I just, I came to terms with like the fact that I'm trying to do too much at once. And I'm tired-ish, <laughs> like I've done a lot to be in the house for the last couple of days and like I'm gonna just have to I'm just have to deal with it and I'm gonna have to do it later uh, oh goodness excuse me I'm so sorry I'm tired 
Mm -hmm. I switched up my hair obviously, but I don't like the switch up because the first way I styled my hair required me to twist in a certain pattern and it left certain locks unpartnered so I kind of just had to make it do what it do and like it's probably not all that noticeable from camera but I'm not rocking with it so yeah I'm going to finish up with editing and stuff I'm actually getting a lot of track done and I thought that I had some new templates I was gonna use, but uh, they're not really working. I'm also watching the Proud Family. It's got me entertained, um, but yeah. I don't know what I might do later, so I'm not gonna check out yet for the week, but. We'll be in touch. Good morning, y'all. Uh, today is Sunday. I did not do anything else um, yesterday, so I've really just been here um, really downloading templates. So I'm excited for new things that I'll be able to do. Ouch! But I definitely did want to check in and close out this vlog. So, um, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for watching this vlog. Especially if you watched all the way through. I really appreciate it. Um, I do this to journal my life, but I appreciate um, you all's interaction. And um, the fact that I am showing it to the world is kind of like, all right, Ebony, put work into it. Like, make it nice. And I've gotten some feedback that y'all like it. And that makes me happy, even if this is like, a glorified um, photo book for my life. Uh, I really do. Thank y'all. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.